If you're a purist and you hate sky replacements, stop watching this video right now. In fact, the word sky replacement should have made you not watch it and clicked on something else because I don't want to see the comments. But if you love sky replacements, um, you'll be interested to know Adobe made a really small update to Photoshop this week. A couple of design related features, but they also updated something in the sky replacement uh, window. And you can actually get a lot of free skies, extra skies, as well as a couple other features here. Let's dive in. We'll take a look. So the first thing is you have to be on the latest version of Photoshop. You can go uh, to check your about Photoshop, but the version is 22.5.0. Uh, always make sure you take a look at your Creative Cloud updater to get these updates. Uh, this is the version that includes this update though. So uh, if you're not seeing this update for some reason, sometimes people have to restart their computer. Uh, Google and contacting Adobe is always where you should go if this isn't working for you, okay? From there, we're gonna head up to the edit menu. We're gonna go down here to sky replacement. Nothing major has really changed inside of the window here. So I'm not gonna go through uh, this window from start to finish. I actually have a, an advanced tutorial that covers just about every feature. Uh, so I'll make sure I link you to that. It should pop up on the screen here as well. But again, I'll put a link and there's also some free skies that I have in case you're interested in those. But what you can do is come over here and click on your little thumbnail and that's gonna open up the window with all of the skies inside of it, okay? Now, what you can do from there is click on the little gear icon and you're gonna see something new inside of here called Get More Skies. I'll talk about a couple other small updates in just a minute here, but the big one is Get More Skies. So when you click on that, as long as you're logged into your Adobe Creative Cloud, Cloud account, you're gonna be taken to a website. Um, and again, you can log in right on the website if you haven't before, but once you can get past the cheesy marketing speak, like amp up the drama, um, I think we all know nobody at Adobe is actually saying amp up the drama. Um, and if they are, they shouldn't be there. Um, you'll see that there's a lot of different categories here. So interesting thing, the, the sunsets category that you see here is that, <laughs> I can, sorry, I, I can't even, it peekaboo sun streaks. I can't even get past this stuff. Um, but the sunsets category, when you go into your skies, you might see that sunsets had been there for a while. So the interesting thing is, is the skies don't automatically get appended to here. But if you look through the sunsets, you can see that there's a certain group of skies that are inside of here, okay, that were included when the sky replacement feature was released. However, I installed the new sunsets pack and there are different skies in there. So they're not all the same as the old ones before. And you can hover over, it'll give you a, uh, a little tool tip that pops up, tells you the um, photographer that took them as well as the size of the sky. So that could be helpful from there. And then we'll hop back over to our web browser here. So Spectacular is another one, um, but we do have some new ones here. We've got night skies and then we've got blue skies was already existing, but again, I haven't checked it, but I assume that there's new ones inside of there. Uh, but the storms is a new one as well. So I downloaded them. What they're gonna do is they're gonna download as a .sky file. All right, so you can see I've got a couple of them here. They're gonna download as a .sky file. And these files, when we're back here inside of Photoshop, so you can now actually save, if you were to go in here and click on one and then shift click on other ones, you can go in there and you can save um, your skies into one file. So you don't have to do them individually anymore. So you can click on that little gear and you can just do export selected skies and it'll create a dot sky uh, file for you. If you want to import them, you can go to the same exact place. Don't do from images. That's meant to do one sky at a time, but you can do from sky presets and you can go navigate to that dot sky file. Uh, another thing that you can do is, I don't know if this works on Windows, I do know it works on Mac. Um, I can just drag this .sky file, I can just drag and drop it over the Photoshop icon here. It's down in my dock and it'll automatically install it into Photoshop for me that way as well. So a couple of different ways, again, I'm not sure how that works on PCs, but a little bit of a time saver. Either way, if none of those methods work for you, you can always come here and click on import from sky presets. Again, don't do from images from the sky presets to bring in those new ones. And then you'll see here, here's the night sky one, which I don't think would necessarily work for this photo. Uh, but then there is the storm pack. So you can go through there, click on a sky to give it a try. And you can see 
That's the result there, so I can turn the preview off. That was before, that was after. Looks kind of cool, kind of had a gloomy day to begin with and add a little bit more drama inside there. Click OK when you're done and it'll follow all the normal sky replacement rules uh, that have existed before. Not related to sky replacements, but if you go into your neural filters, one of the updates that we got this week is also, you'll see it's rearranged a little bit, uh, but there's a little wait list section here and you can even say I'm interested. So that can help Adobe gauge if it is something that they should add. I did it on uh, noise reduction. I think they even give you a place to add some comments. So I went in there and I wrote, hey, I'd love to see good noise reduction in Photoshop. If you're not gonna do it as good as Topaz, don't bother doing it at all. So uh, if enough people vote, hopefully we'll see some really good noise reduction get put into uh, Photoshop as well. And if you notice that the sky replacement window doesn't do reflections, okay, it won't do it by default. I do have a tutorial that'll show you how to do the sky replacement and also have it work on the reflection. So if you're into that stuff, that would be a great place to go next.